A Houston resident walks through waist-deep water while evacuating her home after severe flooding following Hurricane Harvey in North Houston. Twin McNamee slash Getty Omega A Houston resident walks through waist-deep water while evacuating her home after severe flooding following Hurricane Harvey in North Houston. Long after the floodwaters recede and the debris is cleared. The mental health impacts of disasters like hurricanes can linger. Psychologist Jean Rhodes of the University of Massachusetts Boston has spent more than a decade studying what happens to people years after a natural disaster, in this case, Hurricane Katrina. She and her team had been studying the health of young parents attending community college in New Orleans starting in 2003. After Katrina hit in 2005, they found themselves with a unique opportunity. They had health data from before and after the natural disaster. The researchers were able to measure Katrina's mental health impacts in a project called the Resilience in Survivors of Katrina Project RISK. Most people fare well in the long term, they found, but some are still struggling years later. Ailsa Chang, guest host of All Things Considered, spoke with Rhodes about the project and what lesson those people's experiences may hold for people dealing with Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma. Excerpts of the interview follow, edited for length and clarity. Interview highlights how did going through a major disaster like Katrina affect people's mental health long term? Well, here's some good news. About 60%, more than 60% if you look at their mental health over time, have returned to where they were prior to the storm. We often hear that there are these long-term consequences. There are, for about 20%, we see actually their anxiety and depression went up, and it stayed up. For some there was actually an improvement, they're actually doing better than before. They're doing better? Yes, so there's two ways in which they are doing better. Their psychological functioning, about 3-5% to were doing better on indices of anxiety and depression. There's also this other interesting unexpected finding. That's something called post-traumatic growth, this is really the flip side of post-traumatic stress. They often go hand in hand. Stress can often precipitate changes in our perspective about life. We begin to appreciate life more, and feel a personal sense of strength of having endured the trauma. We see new possibilities. We begin to value relationships over things and really have a spiritual awakening that psychologists have begun to appreciate comes often hand-in-hand hand with post-traumatic stress.